I'm coming to you guys super quickly and super briefly because I actually have to go to work in just a little bit. But today we're going to talk about um, the Jesse Smollett situation. Jesse was in Chicago and he was leaving out, out of a, um, what was it, subway, I think like really late at night and two guys came out there and they basically like attacked him. It was two white men and they threw a chemical on him and they tried to tie a noose around his neck and they um, yelled homophobic slurs and racist slurs at Jesse him. was put in the hospital, but I think that he's out now, but they're still looking for the guys. Apparently they cannot find any footage of what happened. I honestly didn't believe it. I'm just gonna tell you guys, I did not believe it. And the reason why I didn't believe it is because I thought that maybe like they were shooting something for like Empire because honestly this sounds like something that would happen on TV. But then when like celebrities started posting it and they started making the news, I was like, oh shit, like this is really legit happening. So I was thinking to myself, this really just kind of, it, it honestly breaks my heart. Like I want to be an actor and I wanna work in the entertainment industry. And it's like, what level of success do I as a black gay male finally have comfort and protection? Like this guy is a notable celebrity and he is not even protected. It's like, damn, what do you do? Later on when they released that um, they couldn't find like any footage or whatever, what is that guy's name? I keep on wanting to call him Star Milan. Ugh, Milan Christopher. He got on social media and he was like, I don't even believe Jesse anymore, basically. Or I don't know if I should believe Jesse anymore because there's no footage. I was teeter tottering on that as well. I just feel like at this particular social climate, I don't think that anybody would really want to pull a stunt like that. And I think that sometimes when people reach a certain level of success or fame, we feel as though nothing can happen to them. We feel like, oh, these people will live forever. Oh, these people, you know, they're always protected. Nothing can ever happen to them. Like they have a million security guards, whatever. But these people are still humans and they can die. They live, breathe, shit, and piss just like us. So sometimes we have to like realize that. So when they when he said that i was like i get where he's coming from but maybe you shouldn't have said that and i think that it's sad to see one of our brothers in the community push the narrative of this possibly being fake um i think that right now more than anything you want to be an ally and if this actually didn't happen only time will reveal and a lot of times when stuff like this happens, when you like when you lose your wallet in the gas station and the police come in and they want to get the footage, the people are like, oh, we don't have no footage. We're not giving you no footage. Like it could legit just be that. This also happened in Chicago. And I mean, shit, the way they handle in R. Kelly, I don't really feel like, <laughs> um, you know, no shade, but I don't really feel like these are the people that like are gonna get to the bottom of anything. Um, another thing that I kind of want to talk about in this video is the fact that hate crime has risen. I think it was like 17% since like 2016. And we wonder why. Hmm. We got a new president, a new racist ass president, a new egregious ass, prejudiced ass president. You have a person that's in a position of power making way for people to do and say things like this and it's just caused problems all over the country like discrimination happens but it's just like rising and rising and growing and growing like yes we've always had this issue but i don't feel like it's always been at this magnitude these people just have like some sort of you know energy about them like some type of push you know um there's a lot of like what is it called? Dog whistles being <laughs> blown around America for these people to act a fucking fool. I'll tell you, when Miss Obama, not Miss Obama, when Mr. Obama was in, we wasn't having none of that shit. Like, now, we having all the shit. I'm gonna say this and it's gonna come out crazy, but if you guys just let me finish explaining myself, it will make a little bit of sense. I don't give a fuck that you're racist or that you have a prejudice 
towards someone. But when you are in the public and when you offer a public service and when you're at work, you at least have to have the decency to treat these people equally. That's all we are asking. Like, do not discriminate. Like, I don't have to come, I don't have to come to your home. If you don't want me in your house, fine. I don't wanna be there, no way. But as long as we are out here and I'm in this line to get my license and registration, you need to treat me equally and you need to treat me just like everyone else. Another thing, um, I feel like racism and like these prejudices that certain people have should be obsolete, honestly. At this point, you cannot be a fully functioning adult and have so much hate in your heart for someone who's not just like you. Like, if you really think about that, that's illogical. Like, you hate me because I'm different? But if we were all the same, you wouldn't like it either. There'd literally be no variety. But I'm gonna get off of my soapbox. I will talk with you guys later. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all so much. Be on the lookout for some more videos. I have some great collabs coming up. Um, stay tuned. Bye.